always the same conversation. They tell you you must be mistaken, which is why I always run the tests twice, and then they blame the other guy, which makes sense if they're innocent, but obviously half of them aren't. They don't seem to get that they're busted. Scientifically proven. Unless your spouse cheated too. Exactly. That's what you're praying for in that moment, that she cheated too. And then if she doesn't kill you, you know that she did. You know she betrayed you. And then you realize that that sucks worse. <clears throat> the test must be wrong. I ran it twice. Not that test. The one I took 10 years ago. What other explanation is there? He really sees no other possibility. Did you have an affair? No. Then why aren't you angry with him? You ever know anybody who's just too nice? No. It's annoying. Then you realize it's annoying because they remind you of what you're not. That you'll never be as good as they are. And then you think, why can't I? And before you know it, that naive idiot you laughed at made you a better person. You really think I've been in love all these years with a symptom? If syphilis caused lesions in his brain and the lesions caused personality changes, you may notice a change in him as his condition improves. I know my husband, he's not gonna change. You should get yourself tested. So much for the bell curve. How can house be an ass without it being an illness, but niceness is a biological crime? You got five bucks? I, uh... Niceness just costs you five bucks. Being an ass generally turns a profit. Cutner, could you excuse us? I need to do Taub's review. You can stay. I think it'd be better if this was done privately. This isn't gonna be done. What is it with you guys? I've given you advice before. Not as our boss. What's the difference? Advice is advice. Fair enough. I'll go first. <clears throat> you demonstrate a great air of confidence, which is really pissing me off. House authorized. How long have you known him? He's using you. I volunteered because I knew he, he wouldn't. He would care less about the paperwork. He's using you to screw with you. He knows it'll annoy us. We'll stand up to you, which will force you to confront the fact that even though you think you're our superior, you're no different from us. He gave you authority to keep you in your place. It's true. Thanks. Not him. What do you say? Nothing. What's true? If there's something wrong with this guy, it means there's something wrong with House. You bitch! I just went to get us some lunch. You were asleep. You moved my book! Jeff, calm down. It's just the drugs. The drugs didn't move my book! <laughs> Jeff. Oh. My husband's having a heart attack. Can somebody help me, please? She saved his life. Or she scabbed. Depends on your point of view. So what do we think? New symptom? Or just a wife beater? Hey. Time for you to take this baby for a spin. We, uh, loaded him full of prednisone to try to fix the liver. Good news is, it's running out of organs to fail. Prednisone could cause roid rage, which could cause hypertension, which results... Roid rage after six hours? At that rate, by sundown, it'll be eating most of us. Uh, it still could be penicillin, allergic reaction. How does a fried liver put him into a rage? It's not frying his liver, it's frying his syphilis. Penicillin's working, the real patient is emerging. So syphilis prevents domestic violence. I'm gonna be even more attractive to the ladies. I was gonna test for a heart issue before the syphilis. PFO could explain the heart attack and reduced blood flow to the brain could explain the rage. Well, they're all good ideas. Okay, let's take a vote. How many think it's the roids talking? And who's for the penicillin? And how about whatever she said? Someone hasn't raised their hand. Whatever I decide. You're setting me up. Why would I do that? 
PFO. PFOs have it. Just hope the bubble test is positive. It's no more Mr. Nice Guy. You know that thing I was gonna tell you? I gotta tell you. I gotta tell someone. You got to swear not to tell CB. Whatever. What's that swearing? That's shrugging. It's actually the opposite of swearing. I won't tell Amber. My team thinks that I have syphilis. Do you? Not yet. Why do they think you do? Because I knew that they had access to an old blood sample. I knew they'd tested sometime for something. Why would you swap your blood? What are you afraid they'll find? Shut up. You're missing the point. Now, they think that I'm on penicillin. Is this some clever practical joke that I'm not aware and of? as I get better, I get nicer. <laughs> That's brilliant. Foreman thinks I actually value his opinion. <laughs> Thank God he said PFO or I've had to do some dancing. <laughs> you got time for bowling? It's work hours. I'll get my shoes. So, we don't need to talk about... No. You're gonna keep screwing... Yeah. Me. You're gonna keep talking about it. We are who we are. I'll get my shoes. Patient tested positive for syphilis, right? Is this some sort of recap? But why did he test positive for syphilis? Oh, ah, uh, I know this. Either one, he has syphilis. I was gonna say that. Or two, the test was wrong twice. Or uh, three, he gave us someone else's blood. Who? Amber. Get that idiotic smile out of my face. I gotta go on a killing spree. Or four, he has something that tests positive for syphilis. It's not Chagas. He worked in Costa Rica before he was married. Is two a spree or do I have to kill you too? Chagas wouldn't explain the niceness. I've heard of remote tribes that actually practice acts of kindness or the Chagas caused encephalitis. MRI showed no signs of it. Until we started him on steroids, compromised the immune system and let the infection flare up. I did another one. It's not much. It's plenty. You figure this out because I don't have syphilis? Damn. That should have been my epiphany. Good news, bad news. The good news is, you know what you have. It's treatable, you're gonna live. <laughs> really? What's the bad news? The cure is a grueling course of pills. It's like one a day for a month. Now you're just trying to make me laugh. Yeah, I think that's a challenge. You have Chagas disease. It's a parasite. It's been asymptomatic for 10 years. Not quite. Your brain's been swollen. Not enough to see, but enough to alter your personality. Now we're back to that. He screamed at you. You don't think you can change? That was because of the drugs. So you think drugs are more powerful than parasites? I mean, the ones we're gonna give you to treat the parasites obviously are, but... I stand by the principle. I'm not worried. Neither am I. Neither am I. That's because I don't care. <laughs>